my name is Beth Colby. I'm a C67 quadriplegic, uh, and I'm going to show you how I put my socks and shoes on today. I actually got a few requests on how I do it. Um, so I'll start with gym shoes and then go from there. So first what I do is I, I, well, I usually put my uh, shoes on in my wheelchair. So first I bring up my leg so that um, my shoe is closer. And as you can see, I don't have a lot of pan function, so I use my wrists and kind of hook, um, hook my leg to pull it up. Then I just use my thumbs to kind of hook and pull on. And my leg would fall off if I don't hold it, so I have to keep holding it. I just use a finger to uh, loosen it. and set it on my um, cushion and I use my upper arm to kind of keep it in place. Um, and for tying, I know a lot of people use um, elastic ones or something. I It took me a long time to learn to tie my shoes again, but um, I figured out how to do it even if it's kind of slow. But I kind of um, strap it around a few fingers to get a good grip on it and then pull it tight. I do have a little bit of thumb movement in this hand, which helps to kind of pinch the, the strings. Um, but it's mostly just putting the strings where you want them and then working slowly. <laughs> So I wanted to do socks and shoes, but to be honest, I basically never wear gym shoes and socks. So I'll show you um, what I normally do, which is easier for me and more stylish for me. <laughs> okay, so normally, um, throughout all of summer, I just wear sandals. And uh, the kind that I get are the ones that have a back to them. Otherwise, they just fall right off. Um, and I make sure that there's a setting on it so that I don't have to undo the clasp every time, and I just slide them on. And just with my finger, I hook it on the bottom. So that's my sandals. And then uh, for work, I oft or going out, I often wear heels. And what I've learned is that the best kind of heels to wear are the slingbacks because the strap kind of holds them in place a lot better. same thing, kind of hold my leg up with one arm and then use the other fingers to kind of loop it in. Um, I also usually get the kitten heel ones because they're not as big of a heel so it's more comfortable on the foot pedal. And then on the foot pedal, the heel, I just lock it in under or behind the foot plate and it'll stay when my leg's not jumping. And the last thing I want to show you is how I wear boots. Um, most of the summer, most of the winter, excuse me, I wear um, boots, and I used to get the kind that zip up, but I discovered that I can just slide my foot in um, to the tall boots without manipulating the zipper, which is much easier. I don't wear socks with the boots because um, it would make it harder to slide on. Uh, and I'm not in the snow too often, so fine. Um, sometimes it's hard to get the heel all the way in like this, so then I just um, put my foot down on the pedal and let gravity kind of work its way in. All right, thank you for watching.